All right, here comes Michael Cole's best friend. Great. The following is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from San Jose, California, Bailey. Bailey and Oscar, this is going to be a hell of a battle tonight. I believe Bailey thinks she has something to prove after Oscar defeated her for the NXT Championship at one point in her career. And she understands how important this match is to her career. Fast-paced, hard-hitting action in store against Asuka. So either keep up or set the pace. I'll tell you, nobody makes an entrance quite like Asuka. A grand entrance for a Grand Slam champion. And representing damage control from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Beware the beautiful fury behind the mask because oh, yeah. destruction awaits. Just check her resume. A Royal Rumble match winner, Money in the Bank contract holder, NXT, SmackDown, Raw Women's Championships. Oh, and Tag Team Gold, too. She truly believes that nobody is ready for Asuka. Well, look at everything Asuka's done here. Grand Slam champion. She won the Royal Rumble, dominated everyone she's faced. Asuka has all the reason in the world to believe that. other quite well. I think Bailey has something to prove to herself and to the WWE Universe in this one. I have to agree with you, Saxon. I won't take anything away from Bailey's accomplishments, but Asuka's completely different than anyone Bailey's ever faced. This one's going to be physical. Both women are known for taking on all comers. Caving in the abdomen. And Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Nightmare takedown. Oh, roundhouse kick. Wicked roundhouse kick. Saw that one coming. Right the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. How can Bailey keep up in the ring with a superstar like Asuka, who is one of the most lethal strikers in the women's division? But Bailey can't match Asuka's power game, so she'll have to outsmart the Empress. If Bailey can lure Asuka into some bad situations and exploit those opportunities, the role model will be in great shape. Re-entering the ring now. Nice running crossbody. Bailey's got her hooked. Oh, and Bailey with a soup. Is it enough? That's still a quick kick out at this point. Horse uh. forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. The fatigue is setting in for her. Yeah, and Bailey's clearly bringing the fight here, effectively ruining Saxton's theory of taking shortcuts. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Good night. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Like a cruise missile from the second rope. Bailey looking impressive. Oscar being made the victim of Bailey's fury. The defensive elbow to the gut ends that.
Bailey did her homework there. Nice Japanese arm drag. Ooh, she just turned it around. Look at that counter from Bailey. And Bailey connected nicely there. Goodness gracious. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Ooh, bullseye. And Asuka getting stopped after that attack. Bailey throwing every ounce of strength behind that move. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. That unraveled on Asuka. is just establishing dominance, followed by the stomp. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Oh, a roundhouse kick. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Take off. What? You want to talk about putting it all on the line? Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here in the announce desk. What a mess. Oh, no. She's got the worst of intentions, and we are about to see just how bad. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Taking things to another level now. Suplex from the announce desk onto the floor. <laughs> Look at Asuka. Endless strikes. Bailey took the full force of that. Asuka might have an opening. Throws her back in from ringside. Asuka rallying the crowd behind her. And she manages to beat the count. Certainly has a flair for suspense. Taking it outside. Oh, That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submission skills with an octopus stretch. This oh, this is unique. Oh, man, what a counter. Great escape. Oh, oh what a drop kick. On the mark. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. And now she's looking to go top rope. Taking flight. Big miss right there. Maybe not, maybe not. And referee cuts off the count at one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired. Uh, Bailey's got her where she wants her. There's the rose plant. Oscar won't come back after that. <laughs> Bailey delivering the kick to the gun. There's the rose plant. Is it enough for Bailey? Pin. And she's still in the game. You can never underestimate the will of Oscar. The desire of the Empress in full display with that kick out. Bailey feeling like she was just robbed of the opportunity to gain the fall. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. <laughs> Caught with that sharp elbow. That's gonna hurt. Denied with an elbow. <laughs> Bailey turns it around. She catches.
catches Bailey with a counter. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on. Got to get back in the ring. She scores big with the counter. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on. This isn't right. Asuka did it. What a huge win. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Let's take another look at these women in action. Here is your winner, Asuka! This was absolute mayhem. This rivalry has been very personal for Bailey, but tonight the Empress could not be stopped. This was a highly anticipated match, and you have to give it up to both superstars. Asuka came in and did what she set out to do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Women's Championship. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. She's got a ruthless attitude, ruthless kicks, all in the name of damage control. The captain of Team Kick is long gone. She is now the assassin of damage control. Yeah, and the chip on her shoulder has grown even larger since coming back to WWE. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. Dolan competed in some of the top independent promotions, earning some of the biggest women's titles outside of WWE. And since then, has held the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship on multiple occasions. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai! And her opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, the WWE Women's Champion, Gigi Dolan! Taking one final look at the title. WWE Universe anxiously awaiting the sound of the bell. Should be a hell of a match.
Every woman wants it. Few get the distinction of holding it. This match is for the WWE Women's Championship. The prestige of this title can't be overstated. Every member of our women's division covets this title and wants their turn as champion. But there can only be one, and that's about to be decided right here. Punishing stretch. I commend the champion for this kind of focused approach, trying to limit the arm's range of motion. And Gigi didn't see that coming. Bang! <laughs> Never saw it coming. Uh-oh. Inverted Frankenstein. The champion into the cover. Oh, somehow. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. STO takedown. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai's got to get it together to avoid disaster. Dakota Kai, known for her devastating kicks. When she really gets going, she can hit you from just about anywhere. Corey, how does one go about avoiding becoming the latest victim of team kick? Well, for as explosive and dynamic as Dakota Kai is, all that flies out the window if her opponent slows the momentum to a crawl. The goal here needs to be to keep Kai down on the ground. <laughs> Drop toe hold. What now? Stomp to the guts. Oh, an insult to injury. She was nothing. Four to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Stretched out like Taffy right now. An impressive chain of moves from Gigi. And she has indeed slowed Dakota Kai to a crawl. Surely she doesn't want to eat it. Cares the pin title. Kick out at one for the challenger. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. From the top, tremendous drop kick. From the middle rope, nobody home for that one. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! The champ trying to roll with these hits. Yeah, Kai displaying a higher level of aggression. <laughs> Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. A couple of knees and then another one, and that'll force the break. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Well, that was unreal. Face wash. The champ shoulders are down. Oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Dakota with plans on ending this. Dakota, uh oh. Turning the tables there. Series of clotheslines delivered by this. And she gets all her momentum stopped in a hurry. Looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Just stretching out the arm. Oh. Hold on a second. They're not ready. Why was she scared of that? Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. A uh, jumping stop to the gut. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. With authority. Holy meet the barricade. Super kick. Oh, that can rock you. And now 
thrown back into the ring. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back? Right idea to fight back, but she comes up short. Oh! Dakota wards off the attack. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. She's fighting back. What a pump kick. Dolan gets countered. the sternum with a championship on the line no she kicks out what a match measured kick to the vertebrae and dakota now still delivering with intensity this situation is not where Gigi wanted to be bang caught under the jaw with that uh, there's and had something going but can't finish the job showing that they probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this move. Hi, Colt. Oh, nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Could be. Agonizing hole. Got to find a way out, and they do. Oh, a spinning heel kick. Just a continue. Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold, wow! Is she gonna tap, tap? And that's it, new champ, new champ! Let's take another look at these ladies going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Women's Champion, Dakota Kai. Truly a huge win for this superstar, or should I say, for the new champion. What a stunning moment. These superstars gave everything they had, but the new champ wanted it just a little bit more. The Eradicator has arrived. Ready to pass judgment on the women's division. Ripley may just be one of the most intimidating presences WWE has ever experienced in either division. She strikes pure, unbridled fear straight into the hearts of her opposition. Yeah, it's almost impossible not to second-guess yourself when you're taking on Rhea Ripley. 
She can just seem unstoppable at times. I think Ripley has done all she can to cultivate the aura of fear. There's a mental aspect to her game that you can't overlook. Well, what a tall task for this woman here tonight, trying to prove she's worthy. Much easier said than done, Cole. We know Becky Lynch is always at the top of her game. And here comes the man. The man has an unmatched confidence and swagger about herself. From underdog to the top of the food chain. Introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. And her opponent from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. That is what it's all about. What every woman claws and scratches for. The Women's World Championship. The Women's World Championship being defended here tonight. There's already a lot of prestige around the title. It still carries a history of its previous iteration, and that's quite the history of title holders. Yeah, Byron, it's a title that represents the pinnacle of women in our sport. Man. And that holds Becky back. She's pushed into the corner. Big elbow. When it comes to Rhea Ripley, what is going to be the key to her finding success in this matchup? Rhea needs to unleash herself completely if she wants to make the win tonight. We need to see the nightmare going all out, throwing everything she's got at her opposition. Power slam. Able to reverse. Short clothesline hits its mark. Rhea had that scouted. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Kick out before the one count. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Elbow drop to the arm. It almost looked like there was going to be a comeback there for a moment. Hard landing. Here's a pin for the title. She kicks out in one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Lynch responds. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Driven down face first. Rhea Ripley hitting that move with the crack of doom. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. There's no happy ending to this rivalry. There is no saving grace. Watch out! Oh, God! 
my goodness. I think I heard something break on that crash landing. She can't finish off her attack. Oh, that backfired on her. In full control here. Nice. Face full of turnbuckle. Knife edge chop. Ooh-wee. Lynch with her opponent trapped in the corner and a springboard sidekick connects. And up the turnbuckles we go. From way up top, oh, down. Here comes the man. Becky Lynch is rolling. The Irish last kicker fired up. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Taking flight. Diving leg drop. She kicks out with force. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Oh! Care for the championship! And still in this, she just won't stay down. Response to Ripley then. Oh, look at Becky. There it is. Manhandle slam. A championship level move. Becky Lynch looking for it. Manhandle slam. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Two count. The champion thought that was it. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. And maybe now Lynch has to revise her game plan because it wasn't enough to keep the competition down. Uh-oh, clear it off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. We are seeing a next-level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And some effective offense with that one. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Ooh. Oh, my God. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Ripley is headed up top. Flying. Big mistake there. But she knows that now. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. We're about to see how tough she really is. Into the corner. This can't be good. Brutality on the mind of Ripley. Getting ready. Rhea Ripley with the fifth of the time. The champ's eyes look glazed over. That's got to be it. There's two. We almost had a new champion. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And there is a look of utter shock covering the face of Rhea Ripley after that outcome. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Reverse pain for that mistake. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. And Ripley dishing out even more punishment. Yeah, we are showing just how dangerous she can still be here. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Ooh. Short clothesline hits its mark. Becky in full control here. Manhandle slam. The champ will stay champ. Top pro putting it all on the line. Blast off. Red drop from the top by the man. Becky Lynch hoists her up. Ooh. Manhandle slam. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night.
what a win. Incredible win, emotional win tonight. And the loser is absolutely crushed because they're going to have to quit the show. They'll never be back on this show again. I, I can't believe this is the last time we're going to see her. I've never been so excited in my career. The unholy enchantress, Isla Dawn. A superstar who claims to be guided by spirits. The mind games of Isla Dawn have already begun as she casts a disturbing gaze out on the WWE Universe. Dawn is, well, she's slightly unhinged. She's a walking nightmare, you mean. We'll see if Isla Dawn's spells and spirits can get the job done tonight. Ooh, you better be careful, Corey. She might just put a curse on you. She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside EO Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. Alba Fire has declared that her spiritual alchemy is complete and she is ready for battle. And she's ready to unleash catastrophic outcomes on the entire women's division. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing 
the challengers, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. And their opponents, the team of Peyton Carter and Katana Chance. The WWE Women's Tag Titles has dramatically changed the women's division, and it will continue to do so tonight. When we see the dark duo of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth, and if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. It would be wise for them not to underestimate Katana Chance and Caden Carter, though, Michael, because that's exactly when this dynamic duo thrives. And you just know, when Chance and Carter are thriving, we're all partying. Well, if you're partying, Saxton, then I'm not. And she's stunned in the corner. Tag! Sent out to the center of the ring. Double super kick! My goodness. How can the challengers put up a fight in this situation? Karana spiked them. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh, look at head scissor. Oh, and a head scissor DDT. That could be it. She avoids the contact. Springboard off. Attack from behind. Right after the neck. Quick thinking pays off. Up across the shoulders. Down in a sit out spine buster. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Tag made. Katana was expecting that. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, shoulder to the gut. So ruthless. Oh, new champ. Barely kicks out. Very close. Fatigue clearly set again. Reversal from Katana. The champ using every tool they have to protect their reign. Spin kick to the midsection. And oh my god, what a fall! That's a jump. Uh oh. What a hurricane. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. She catches Katana with a counter. A stalemate of counters. And Chance now chaining some offense together. Tough spot for Isla. Speed kills, and no one knows that better than the... On the apron. You gotta be kidding me. Here's the twist. Spinning cross body. Great rotation. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. This. Uh oh. Evading offense. She returns the favor there. Isla able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. This could be a good chance for Dawn to get some distance and rethink things. Good timing with that reversal. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. And Alba only finds herself on the defensive. You cannot stop Katana when she's going like this. Oh, the knee takes. 
takes a big hit. Well timed and well placed by the champion. It'll be tough to put weight on that leg now. If this lands, it's over. Katana chance with a Phoenix Splash. My goodness, did you hear that chop? 360 double knee face breaker. Now that is why they're the champ. And the tag titles stay put. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. destined for. I gotta admit, it just seems so natural for Caden and Katana to win a match like this. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now, here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Because this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till they next get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Too many times I be busting them up like a pimple, stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers, step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show I bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? That's what's up. Think for a moment about all the great adversity Miz has had to overcome in his career. He has been stalked by maniacs. He's had his manhood questioned, and he is constantly put in harm's way. Uh, well, I have no sympathy for the Miz. It's about time he gets humbled. Shouldn't be humbled, he should be celebrated as a man, as a competitor, and beloved by all. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE.
A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 441 pounds. The team of our truth and the Miz. And their opponents at a combined weight of 439 pounds. They are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, The Judgment Day. The goal is obtaining those Tag Team Championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes. They'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of the way. Staying out of Judgment Day's business might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. You can't argue their credentials, but don't overlook the team they're squaring off against. They've done their homework. They're coming into this fight as prepared as you can be. And that can be a difference maker, Corey. You can be a great team, but if your opponent has you scouted, you can become very vulnerable. And off the tag is Finn Balor. What's he have here? Oh, man, landing awkwardly. Uh-oh. Well scattered reversal there. Oh, what's forced to the back of the net? right into that turnbuckle. Ooh Someone knows that if they want to hold gold at the end of the night, they have to pull out all the stops. Oh, well, the reversal by R-Truth. Balor timed that just right. Stop! Hooked up. DDT! Going for a pass. Stays in the fight for the title. He thought he had it. Stopping their opponent. Oh, by a forearm smash. So much damage inflicted. The challenger eating up some damage. Yeah, Balor putting his big match expertise to work there, making it look just effortless. Connecting on the DDT. And Miz now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Finn's proving hard to deal with. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Unloads with the boot. He eludes the contact. He's got the answer for that one. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch.
It'll take more than that to hold him down. Able to get the advantage here. Ow! What are we about to see? Just going all out with every blow. Oh, man. Ooh, man, what a hit. Stomach creates the separation. That is a power packed punch. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Those last hits rattled the champ. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some cover by the challenger. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. Kicking out so early certainly sends a message. Sharp punch. Priest able to adapt. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, big overhand. And he's able to fight Priest off. Gets tagged in. gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Judgment Day to question their powers. This type of defeat will force the Judgment Day to strike back. There will be severe repercussions with devastating impact. Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. Yeah, yeah. Go, 
Looking at the career of Sheamus, he's been successful in both singles and tag team competition. Now the Celtic Warrior can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone who steps up to him. Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sami never gives less than 100% in the ring. The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sammy is always up for a challenge. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 200. 67 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! And his opponent, from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn! The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. attached to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, but right now it's all about... Canadian backbreaker. This is a tough one to escape from. Prying the hands apart. But he found a way. Ouch. Corey, in your eyes, what is Sami Zayn's biggest advantage in this matchup? No, that's an easy one, Cole. Sami Zayn's a strategic mastermind. That'll give him a clear path to victory. All he has to do is properly execute. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Beautiful athleticism. Counter from the Celtic. Uh-oh. Oh, Zayn anticipated that. What now? Oh, uh, stop right to the gut. Super kick! Good no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. And the chain kicks out. Wow. Oh, deadlift. Look at this power. Power slam. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. knee strike oh, oh, on the jaw and Zayn looked rocked if he's got a strategy he might want to think about tapping into it yeah Shane is looking to beat the respect out of him boom ah. and a Oof. stop to the gut too Sami Zayn digging deep we're going to turn the tides of this matchup Zayn off Oof, gets cut down in an instant And a 
message sent there, letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. We saw that one coming, took advantage. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Up high, oh, body from the top. The champion is willing to take every risk tonight. No! Oh no, crashing hard onto the floor. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk is worth it. And Sheamus is countered. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Big boot! Oh, new champ! And he kicks out at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. Oh, the power! And that has to put some fear into the champ, seeing the kind of power their challenger possesses. Hey, fella, you ready to go for a ride? What noise! Sheamus proving just how much the fight means to him there. Didn't hold back one bit. Sheamus setting him up. High cross from Sheamus. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Three, no, a two count. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away but just how much more is needed. The end could still be right around the corner. The unmitigated power of Sheamus was not enough to put this away. The Celtic Warrior is going to have to hit even harder to end this. And he's able to reverse. Shame. Oh, and the comeback gets shut down. Beautiful athleticism. A bad place to be for the challenge. Here comes Sammy, firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time! Whoa. And that definitely made solid impact. Uh-oh. Look at this! Sammy Zayn, blue thunder bomb. Zayn finding that energetic offense. And he sends him into the corner. Makes a cover. Three, no, two count. Title still on the line. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. Oh! oh straight to the floor. Talking about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Few superstars have collided like this. I frankly don't know how they're still competing. Their minds and bodies devastated. I can't imagine being in this position. Up high. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Moved at the right. Boom. The champion into the cover. The cover. He stays alive. He stays alive. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the back. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat drip out of the challengers every pour. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Suplex brings him down. Knee strike. And that hit connects from Sami Zayn. He knew that was coming. Athleticism. The Celtic Warrior in bad shape here. Everything's coming together for Sammy. Executing beautifully on his master plan. Climbing up to the top now. Sammy Zayn played it. We're going to finish it off. Swanton Bomb.
Zayn able to adapt. Zayn might be able to start mounting something here. Sammy hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Attack after attack coming from Zayn. Oh, Sheamus loves the fight, but he can't be liking this. It is absolutely deafening in the building right now. Oh, right to the rope. Ooh, and a reversal. That focus mind of Sami Zayn capitalizing big time with that move. Oh, he's got him up high. The follow-away slam. This is going to take some power here. Look at this strength. Absolutely impressive. And that was a precisely measured attack. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Right in the chest. What a drop kick. The champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. And Sheamus is definitely no stranger to an epic battle, but he really thought he'd won the war there. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. He got whipped into that corner. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Pull on a kick by Sami Zayn. But champions need to finish the job. And Zayn is clearly looking for a fight here. Nasty boot by Zayn. Looks like the champ is going to retain. defense by Sami Zayn. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Here is your winner. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn! A successful title defense for him tonight. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one. Gentlemen, stand up and cheer this social media icon.
You know, we know Logan Paul has taken on some of the top names in boxing and WWE, and he may be big on the internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little respect on Logan Paul's name. Perhaps the greatest high flyer of this era. Here comes Ricochet. You're right, Cole. We are looking at an amazing high flyer and a fearless risk taker. The one and only. As of late, Ricochet's thrilling aerial maneuvers and breathtaking athleticism have been combined with a new level of aggression. And what we've seen from Ricochet is he moves a little quicker to fight fire with fire. Well, unfortunately, Ricochet still looks for the approval of the WWE Universe. He could soar even higher if he stopped thinking about what the fans want. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, Logan Paul! And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Five years of history behind that, the United States Championship. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Consecutive high risk maneuvers and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. standing match pacing yourself is the key you're right on the money Cole you can't waste any energy you always need enough left in you to be able to answer the 10 count at all times challengers a little worse for wear now yeah as ricochet was trying to prove a point with his offense got the legs game and Gary wow check out the springboard Whoa, springboard clothesline Oh my god, Springboard Moonsault! Wow! It misses on the Springboard! Tagging this outside. This could be good. Getting close to 10 here. Now you gotta dig deep. Oof, taking a swing straight to the face.
throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? And there's seven. This is not good. Oh! Whoa, slamming that bat down as hard as possible. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. A bad place to be for the challenger. They're both just doing anything they can to ensure victory and be the last one standing. Clubbing blow stifles the attack. Thinking high risk. Uh oh. Way too far. Oh, no, 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 that could change the whole complexion of this match. And stopping the count for some reason. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Athleticism from Ricochet. He knows how to avoid contact. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Get him into the corner. Evades their offense. Inside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. I can already feel the sting with the kendo stick, and I do not care for it. And he stonewalls Logan. Uncorked a big punch. Ricochet, Logan Paul, letting their dislike for each other push them further and further, deeper and deeper into this match. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Ricochet now. Uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Saw it coming. We will go on. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, right in there. Ruthlessly compounding the damage now. Energetic, exhilarating, all described ricochet and so effective. Oh, and one miscalculation turns the tide right back around. Super kick. And just like that, stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to injury here. Ooh. setting his sights and lining him up. He stands up and stops the ref's count. You can't keep him down. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Logan getting excited. What's he going to do? Punch across the cheek. We can have a new champion.
this match will continue. Man, there is no quit. And did you hear the impact of that? When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Looks like it's back to the drawing board. And Ricochet with the recoil. Another one bites the dust to the chair. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Clear on the table. Yeah, I gotta take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by it. Oh, look at this. Ricochet with the a championship level move. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. And this match is going to continue. He's taking this to the floor now. Held in a perilous position. Oh my God, superhuman power! This match isn't over yet. Guess he caught another win. DDT! Not over yet. Vicious right forearm. Ricochet just so unpredictable. And he heads out of the ring, no countouts, no worries. He saw it coming. It's a big head scissor. You can feel it, the place is rocking. The WWE Universe making their feelings known. He returns to the ring. Cut gets to seven. This is close. Steps right into them. Ricochet is really showing his confidence. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Look out! Yeah. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. He climbs into the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top. Up high. Look out the wall. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Off to the top rope now. Uh-uh. No way! Cut out the count here, maybe with a little something extra in mind. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. The WWE Universe feeding Ricochet's confidence now. A count of seven. Is this really it? it Try as you might, you just can't take the title off of Ricochet. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Well, this is one matchup that lived up to its billing, and then some. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, Ricochet! He wasn't giving up that title, no way. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. Roman Reigns looking supremely confident as always and with good reason, but the question must be asked. Somewhere in Roman's mind, does Seth Rollins still have a piece of the big dog's heart? Roman knows Seth betrayed him once, and despite burying the hatchet, you simply can't forget betrayal on that level. No, I absolutely agree with you, Corey. Listen, these two have been best friends, have been brothers, have been the worst of rivals. But when it comes to competing one-on-one, -on -one, you got to think that Roman Reigns will do everything and anything to prove that he is better than Seth Rollins. Got to get himself locked in to go against the visionary. Yeah, I'm sure he's done his homework, and I'm sure he's well aware that Seth Rollins can easily manipulate you into making a mistake. Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! And his opponent, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth! A highly contested World Heavyweight Championship handed to our official. Each superstar getting a glance of what's at stake. Big fight field, big fight atmosphere, World Heavyweight Championship on the line here tonight. Oh, this back of the neck with a forearm, what a blow. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. He's returning fire. Sequence of reversals there. Oh, what a neck breaker. There he goes. 
goes right into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Rollins just a step too slow. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Rollins with a reversal. With the reversal. And for a power slam, slips down. The step delivers the inverted DDT. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Sit out power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. He had it scouted. Roman Reigns sits on the mountaintop of this business. And of all the things that have gotten him this far in his career, you can't deny how important confidence has been for him. That overwhelming belief in himself and his abilities has been a large part of his success, and he can never let that falter. I'd expect that confidence of Romans to play a big part in this match here. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. And that cancel out Reigns' offense. Watch out! Oh! For the title! Champ with the shoulder up. Somehow, some way. Oh, watch this display of power. Seth Rollins didn't get what he wanted there, taking some stiff offense. Yeah, as Roman came ready to assert his dominance and is doing just that. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Across the chest. Uh-oh. Phoenix Splash! Gosh, how'd he do that? The champion clearly doing whatever it takes to retain their title here. Oh, my God. Dottie moves up. Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Drop it right to the spine. Choose any Seth Rollins nickname you want, they're all true. And the WWE Universe can't deny it. And Zagiri finds its mark. How much more can the big dog withstand? The Tribal Chief has it cinched in. Cravat sleep. He needs to find an escape route. All right. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. What's he about to do? You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. Oh, I had that well scouted. Ooh. That'll turn your lights out. Guillotine locked in. This is all. No, that was an incredible counter. Bam! Bud Reigns! The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Two. Oh, the champ avoids a three count. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out cost? The champ might be running on fumes. Roman has been denied. This is not something we're used to seeing, and by the looks of things, neither is Reigns. Oh, my. Sent flying. Oh, my right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. the attack with an elbow to the gut. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. Oh, 
Oh, Seth Rollins looking to end this emphatically. What a pedigree. With that, Rollins has opened up an opportunity to keep. Oh, I think we know what Rollins is thinking now. With a stop. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. The stop connects. The title is going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. Yet you can't give up now. There's no way that was what Seth Rollins was expecting. He thought this match was his. Oh, the knees. Oh, do you hear that? What an incredible performance by Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Both men refuse to stay down. We're seeing Rollins and Reigns go beyond the point of no return. The will to win will drive both men to incredible feats. And a big right hand. He turns it around. And that one misses the mark. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Close. That could have been it. Rapid fire. Moving into the cover with the title on the line. New champion. New champion. Strong kick out at two from the champion. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision, no way. A slingshot cross body! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion launching. Reigns averts the attack. <laughs> Defiant counter to Reigns. What a reversal by Reigns. Delivered into the barricade. Get up, big boy. <laughs> what a punch. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. From Rollins. He grew tired of his smug attitude. We know what Seth has in store for an old brother here. Rollins looking for it. Stop! The champ will stay champ. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. He moves. Reigns reminding his opponent, this is my yard. Boom! Here it comes! Get back to the on the neck. The champ has this one in hand now. Down. And Seth Rollins is still the champion. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Here is your winner, and still, World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins! Crucial victory as he retains the title. What a title defense for him tonight. He came in with that unshakable champion mentality.
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship! Damian Priest has arrived. A man who will bring judgment to all of WWE. No longer cares for the WWE Universe. No longer cares for the rest of the locker room. Because he has found his true family. And the Judgment Day is their name. This was, and things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. And the referee is motioning for these superstars to get into the ring where this match belongs. I'm not sure there's any reasoning with them at this point. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxon, and I love it. The springboard attack fails to land. He's able to sidestep there. And he has an answer for Priest. Bam! Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. And how do you account for the size and strength of Damian Priest? Usually, speed works against folks the size of Priest. But Damian has agility on his side, too. I'd say Priest's current weakness is his unchecked aggression. While it has led him to victories, it also leaves him open to making mistakes. Not very often, mind you, but it does happen. Single leg drop kick caught him. The challenger eating up some damage. And Rollins is wearing a self-satisfied smirk after landing that. And Priest with the wherewithal to counter. On a leg toss. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Punishing stretch. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Oof. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Turning the tables. Tossed into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Look at these vicious stomps in the corner. Oh, a flurry of strikes. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Kick from behind. Ouch. The challenger is not in a great place. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Strikes with a kick. Pulls the trigger. A knee of the revolution style by Rollins. Priest fends him off. Springboard misses the target. Oh, man. Delivers the knee. Oh, my goodness. There's the double knee right to the face. Oh, man. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Oh, kick connects. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Priest dodges out of that. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Oh man, that was nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh my gosh! Shattered and taken down with a DDT. Is why they're the champ. Try to end it. Seth Rollins keeps his 
title and doesn't look like it's going anywhere right now. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. And he has to be satisfied with himself, defending the championship like he did. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.